Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. Till now in quadratic equation, we covered how to find the roots of a quadratic equation by simple uh, simple method and by completing square method. My, in today's video, uh, I'll tell you about uh, this is the standard formula of the roots of a quadratic equation. My This is the formula is minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a so students how to solve the roots of the quadratic equation that first you need to compare the equation with the standard equation which we I have told you earlier also the standard equation of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so after putting the values of all the constants a b and c in this equation you will get the values uh, you will get the roots of your equation so let me give you one example which we discussed in previous class also by method of completing square so we will check directly by this formula that if this is our equation 5 h square minus 6 x minus 2 equal to 0 in last video we saw this question as a completing square method but in this video we will solve this by simple using formula okay so value of a here is 5 value of b is 6 and value of c is minus 2 so you can directly put the values of a b c in your uh, formula so i will get minus of minus 6 plus minus b square that is minus 6 square minus 4 into a which is 5 into c which is minus 2 upon 2 a which is 5 ok so minus of minus 6 is plus 6 minus plus minus that is 36 plus 40 upon 10 okay this comes out to be 6 plus minus root of 76 upon 10 if you solve this more this comes out to be 2 root 19 upon 10 after taking common 2 you will get the answer as 3 plus minus root 19 by 5 which we were getting in our previous videos as our answer so this is a direct formula to find out the roots of the equation students do remember that in this formula here it is plus minus don't forget this most of the students made this mistake they for, uh, forget to write plus minus here and they like it as minus b plus or minus b uh, this has a formula from this you will get only one root with so like in our example we will get this as one root and another root was 3 minus root 19 by 5 these are two roots so students here is the key that don't forget to write this plus minus so students here is another question to find out the two numbers uh, we can solve it by either of the methods by taking a, a simple uh, completing square method by simple square root method and by directly formula also so from further from now onwards we will use the formula directly okay uh, which is as h equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac by 2a okay this is the formula don't forget to write plus minus over here okay so in this question we are given as the difference of squares of two numbers is 180 difference of squares of two numbers let suppose first number is it's h square let's suppose i suppose the num first number is h square so the difference of two numbers will be h square 
and let's suppose second number is y square okay so i assume the number has inbuilt square in it okay so h square minus y square will be 180 according to condition first okay and the square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number and the square of the smaller number is 8 times the so y square according to condition second y square will be equal to 8 of h this is what uh, given in the square of smaller number is 8 times the larger number so i suppose the smaller number is y so y square should be equal to 8x so after solving this equation if i put the value of y square here so you will get the quadratic equation x square minus 8x minus 180 equal 0 okay so by using the formula equal minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a so what's the value of students b here is b is minus 8 a is 1 and c is minus 180 after putting all these value in this formula we will get minus of minus 8 plus minus minus 8 square minus 4 into 1 into c is minus 180 upon 2 into 1 ok so we are getting as h equal 8 plus minus minus 8 square will be 64 minus 4 into 1 into minus 80 will be plus 720 okay upon 2 which comes out to be 8 plus minus 784 by 2 so students here you have to take common the value which maths you can take okay so student I can write this as Forty nine into four will be one into this into two ninety eight into four into two again. This will make this equation as seven eighty or you can cross check it forty nine into sixteen which comes out to be 784 okay so we can take this 7 into 4 out of the this so this will come out to be 28 by 2 so if we take plus at one time so our solution will be 8 plus or another solution will be 8 minus 28 by 2 the 2 solution which we are getting is 36 by 2 is 80 and minus 10 okay I suppose you are getting my point so the two numbers are we get h here as 18 so the two numbers are 18 and minus if first number is 18 you can find out directly by h square minus y square equal to which was given as 180 so you can put the square of 18 is 324 minus y square is 180 so you will get here as 144 y s plus minus 12 so if you take the value of first number is 18 you will get the value of y is plus minus 12 if you take the value of h as minus 10 you will check the value of y which is h square minus y square equal 180 again so 10 square minus 10 square minus y square equal to 180 100 minus 180 equal y square so our number comes out to be y square so it cannot be possible so our solution is only this ok this can be the solution value of h will be 18 and value of y will be 
plus 12. If you take the value of y is minus 12, so our second condition will not hold true because the square of smaller number is 8 times the larger number. 8 times the larger number is 8 into 18, like in according to condition second. 18 into 8 will be square of the smaller number which is 12 square okay this is 144 so our conditions holds true you cannot take you can take a negative also so our conditions you can take both the signs so our solution is 18 and so our final answer first number is 18 and second number can either be plus 12 can either be minus 12 also okay students i hope you are clear now if you have if you are facing any doubt or, or if you have any doubt you can just ping me or uh, message me in the uh, uh, below folder okay thank you students